Athletic director Mike Bone is approaching the end of his first year at Cincinnati. Coming from a Power 5 conference school, Bone doesn't see many differences being a Bearcat. The athletic facilities are state-of-the-art, teams are competing at the highest level, and the fan base that includes 43,000 students on campus are keeping Cincinnati at the level it needs to be at. Well, it's very similar. I think if you look at a majority of the institutions in our league, they really are a lot more like uh, our peers in the, the Big Five conferences in many, many ways. Now, obviously, there's outliers like Ohio State and Michigan and some of the uh, monster institutions like Florida and so forth. But for the most part, they're very, very similar. And uh, I think that's why it's so exciting to be a part of it. And with uh, Mike's leadership and other athletic directors and presidents in this league, I think they understand that and recognize that there's a wonderful opportunity to compete at the highest level in this conference. Bone couldn't be more excited to be the lead man at Cincinnati and has already learned so much about the university and the community in his time there. Well, I think a lot of different things. I think first of all and foremost, it all comes from the sense of pride in this community in high school sports and throughout the state of, of Ohio. And I think that's why it's fun to be a part of those uh, uh, Midwestern values and that sense of pride in, in high schools. And then obviously the University of Cincinnati, uh, the Cincinnati Reds, the Bengals, and then just that sense that Intercollegiate athletics and athletics in general is a neat thing to be a part of and it's a great thing for the community to be able to rally around and they're not afraid to talk about that and to do that and I think that's an asset that is far understated about the University of Cincinnati and obviously the, the community uh, here that uh, is really, really special in that way. There is a special sense of community surrounding athletics on campus at Cincinnati. It's called Varsity Village. The school's athletic facilities are centrally located, so every team gets to compete in the middle of campus, creating a unique atmosphere. I think that, that uh, there's no question we have so much appreciation for our predecessors who did a great job. Uh, when Bob Goyne, the athletic director at the time, partnered with uh, the president and the board and so many donors to build Varsity Village, and you look at the football stadium, which is right next door to us here, and you recognize it's the fourth oldest stadium in America, you begin to recognize the iconic feel of a true varsity village inside a campus of 43,000 students where you begin to go, that's really special and that's unique. Bone is just getting started at Cincinnati and is taking a great foundation to set even higher goals for his athletic programs. I think that really identifies Cincinnati as uh, a city where the championships come through in all sports. Uh, a, a, an institution with an incredible sense of pride and spirit, an alumni base that's fired up and recognizes the incredible history that we have. And uh, the University of Cincinnati currently is the high, hashtag hottest college in America, and we want people to know that. And we recognize that whether it's sportsmanship, attendance, environment, facilities, uh, the class of our student athletes, our coaches, all the different aspects that, that really are barometers or measurements of successful programs, and obviously autonomy, that it's on us to, to continue to uh, raise the bar for us so that when people think of the University of Cincinnati, they think class of the league. And uh, those are uh, lofty goals, but that's what we're trying to do. The Bearcats accomplished one of those goals, winning a portion of the American Football Championship. And we're sure there's more big things to come. Thanks again to Mike Bone for taking the time to chat with us. For the American Digital Network, I'm Haley Outen.